Hello students, welcome again to our English Literature class. In today's class, we shall take up a poem called Once Upon a Time, written by Hill Okara. This lesson is taken from your English Literature book, Unit 2, Section C. So, this is Section C. Students, the basic theme of this poem is that man has changed completely different from the past. Today's man is no more like the man of the past. The poet himself says, he admits, he confesses that he too has changed. He is no more like once he had been in the past. In short, man today has forgotten the life of innocence, lost the life of innocence. He has taken up a life of hypocrisy. So we can say the modern man is living a life of hypocrisy. Let us see stanza by stanza. We have seven stanzas and let's go stanza by stanza. So poet says in the first stanza, once upon a time, son, they used to laugh with their hearts and laugh with their eyes, but now they only laugh with their teeth, while their eyes look cold eyes search behind my shadow. So he says, before man used to laugh with hearts and eyes, means man used to laugh wholeheartedly without hiding his emotions, feelings, means all his feelings and emotions of art, that is happiness, used to come out through his heart and eyes. And that is what poet remembers. But now he says, people are only using their teeth and eyes. They show like two eyes block pieces. There is no love and affection through their eyes, no love and affection through their expression. It is only artificiality. Let's go on to the second stanza. In the second stanza, the poet says, There was a time indeed they used to shake hands with their hearts, but that's gone, son. Now they shake hands with their hearts while their left hands now they shake, with, shake hands without hearts while their left hands search my empty pockets. The poet says, today also they shake hands but they shake hands without hearts before people shook hands using their hearts with full love and affection. Today, they shake hands without heart, without real love and affection. They shake hands only in the hope of some gain, some profit. So, this is what poet finds and tells his son. Third son, sir, the poet says, Feel at home, come again. They say, and when I come again and feel at home once, twice, there will be no thrice, for then I find those shut on me. The poet says to his son, Son, dear son, before people used to say, Feel at home, come again. When they went really, they felt happy. They felt happy when anyone visited them. But now, they say feel at home, come again, but if you visit, you may visit once, twice, they tolerate you, but may not be the third time. Third time, you may find their door closed. This is the mind of today. Let's go on to the fourth stanza. In the fourth stanza, the poet says, So I have learned many things, son. I have learned to wear many faces like dresses, home face, office face, street face, host face, cocktail face, with all their conforming smiles, 
like a fixed portrait smile. The poet says to his son, Son, I, have, I also have learned so many things. For example, I have learned to bear many faces like many dresses. I can change these faces according to my need and requirement and situation. For example, at home I have the home face. In office, I bear office face. In street, I bear street face. When I am a host, I show my host face. When I am in the party, I use my party face, cocktail face. And all these different faces are fixed, like the face in the photograph we see. So the poet says, this is what the mind of today is. Let's proceed to start from five. He says, he says, and I have learned to, to laugh with only my teeth and shake hands without my heart. I have also learned to say goodbye when I mean good readers to say, glad to meet you without being glad and to say, it's been nice talking to you after being bored. In the fifth time, some poet says, now, People laugh only using their teeth. Shake hands without heart. Yeah. Laughing, showing teeth. Shaking hands without really shaking hands heartily. So the poet tells his son that today also people use their smile using the teeth only. They say goodbye. But they mean that they are very happy that you have gone away. Good returns. They say glad to meet you, but without being glad. It's been nice talking to you, but they feel good. This is what the poet has realized today. He himself is living this life. Let's continue to the sixth stanza. In the sixth stanza, the poet says, what, I, what will it be, son? I want to be what I used to be when I was like you. I want to unlearn all these muting things. Most of all, I want to unlearn how to laugh. For my laugh in the mirror shows only my teeth like a snake's bare hand finds. The poet says to his son, Son, I like to be like you. I want to be like you. I want to give up this unnatural life. I want to get back those lost identities. I want to live the life of innocence. I don't want to smile only showing teeth like bare fangs of a snake. But I want to smile heartily. I want to laugh heartily. I want to shake hands heartily. Please, son, I want to be again like before. In the last seventh stanza, the poet says to his son, So, show me, son, how to laugh. Show me how I used to laugh and smile once upon a time when I was like you. The poet asked his son to show him how to laugh like a child laughs innocently without keeping malice inside. When he laughs, he wants to laugh heartily, full, with full joy. He means to say that he's happy to laugh, happy to shake hand, happy to smile. So this is the explanation of seven stanzas. And as in every poem, poet has uses has used some literary devices, though we know this poem is a free versus poem that means it does not have any clear rhyming words, rhyming scheme. But it uses some metaphors, for example, in the first part, huh? poet says they only laugh with their teeth, they shake only hands, with hands without heart, meaning that 
the people have now become only the teeth and hand without heart. This is the meaning. That means their teeth, their hands are representing their personality without any love and affection. Then second device for that use, similarly comparison, like like a fixed portrait smile, like a snake bear finds when I was like him. So these are the signals poet has used. So dear students, I hope you got the concept about once upon a time written by Gabriel Okara. For today, that's all. Thank you.